So what's up guys, Jermaine here, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about five cities where rent has been steadily dropping since it's been skyrocketing around the country. So if you guys are new here, this is the content that you like, consider subscribing to the channel. I talk all things financial related, whether it be stocks, real estate, credit cards, things like that, things that I'm into personally, uh, things that can help you make more money. If you like stuff like that, subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Have you along. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. So, some of these cities you may actually be surprised because of the parts of the country where they are in, and we've seen a lot of, a lot of growth in these parts of the country where uh, the great kind of migration from the northeast and over from California to certain places. But let's go through the list now, and we'll talk about that. Okay, so here we are, the list where we have rent prices have dropped the most in these five U.S. cities. Uh, we have first here, we have Memphis, Tennessee, where the median rent at the end of 2021 was $1,800. And at the end of 2022, we see now rent is around $1,695. So basically, we'll say like $1,700. So we see like about a $100 increase. Uh, Port St. Lucia, Florida, we see a median rent at the end of 2021 at $2,800. Median rent at the end of 2022 has dropped to $2,650. Cape Coral, Florida, Fort Myers, uh, median rent $4,000 at the end of 2021. It's pretty high. It's like pretty much Miami prices. Um, but at the end of 2022, it was around $3,795. Palm Bay, Florida, they have around $20. 2021 it was at the end of 2021 we had at 2300 also see like a hundred dollar decrease at 2200 the end of 2022 and in phoenix arizona this area has been red red hot with just like airbnbs uh rentals a lot of people have been buying in this area phoenix has been red hot i know a lot of people that have actually been leaving california to go to phoenix but uh the median rent at the end of 2021 was 2350 and it's only dropped 50 bucks to 2300 at the end of 2022. But one thing I wanted to point out is that you notice here from this list is three places on this list where it's actually dropped is Florida. And one thing that we did see uh, after the pandemic, or even during the pandemic, but a lot of people's leaving like my home state, New York, and going down to Florida. Some people's going down to Miami, Fort Myers, um, Orlando, but Florida has just been getting flooded. Uh, people leaving New York, and partially because of like not only just the high rents here, but also the high taxes. See, the difference is in New York we have a high, you know, state income tax rate, versus Florida has zero income tax rate. So you save a lot of money going down there. Uh, problem is, is just that it. Ex it blew up real estate drastically, you know? I mean, you see it in these rents. These numbers was never high like this. 4,000, 2,800, 2,300. Uh, even down in Miami, you know, it's about like $4,000. That's why I was saying like, you know, Fort Myers at the end of 2021, 4,000. But that's pretty much what Miami people are paying now in certain places in Miami, like especially like uh, the downtown, the Brickell area, Miami Beach, you know, they're paying about four grand a month for certain apartments there. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I greatly appreciate you guys watching this video. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't liked and subscribe already. Let me know what you guys are paying for rent in your cities. I love to hear, you know, what people are paying around the country, uh, you know, just to get a sense of how the housing market is going. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace.